Hey guys, Jordan here. Today we're going to be doing aerial photos of this 1800 square foot home. This is likely the, the type of home that you're going to be shooting on a regular basis if you're in real estate media. Uh, today we're going to be using the DJI Mavic 2 Pro as well as the smart controller so that I can do a screen recording uh, while I shoot. All right, now let's go to the backyard. Watch out for birds. Oh my gosh, there are so many birds. All right, I'm gonna take a picture while the birds are gone. All right, so now we're connected to 16 satellites and it says ready to go GPS. First things first, I always look around looking for obstacles. Uh, there's not too many here. I have this light post right here in this uh, tree. So I'm going just to be cognizant of it. When I'm flying towards the back, you can see there's some taller trees, but um, you always wanna keep your drone line of sight. Uh, just to keep an eye on it, make sure um, there's no aircraft in the area, make sure it's safe to fly. Let's go ahead and take off. All right, so first things first, I'll get a center shot. So right here I'm centering the home. We don't want a ground level shot. There's a lot of pigeons out. You gotta watch out for birds. Oh my gosh, there are so many birds. All right, I'm gonna take a picture while the birds are gone. They think that I'm imposing on their space. Look at that, that's crazy. But that's the kind of stuff you're gonna run into. All right, so now I'm gonna go left. Point down on the property. I don't want a bunch of birds in my shot, so I'll make wait until they uh, move out of the way. I'm gonna go to the other side. Now that I'm getting closer to this light post, I'm being pretty careful about it. I'm not much higher than it. All right, so I'm pointing it at the house. I'm gonna come down a little lower just so I can get more horizon. There's a mountain view right there. So let me drop it. It looks like I'm about six, 36 feet off the ground. All right. All right, now let's go to the backyard. Watch out for the birds. This would be a really awesome training video if uh, something happens. Hopefully not. All right, so, all right, I'm at the backyard. I've identified the right house. Uh, sometimes when, when you get a little f further away, um, you wanna make sure that you you're shooting the right house. All right, this looks pretty good. It shows the backyard, the pool. Probably a center shot's gonna be a little better because it's not gonna show so much of the neighboring house. And I'll usually get up right up onto the fence when I'm showcasing that. So I'm right up on the fence. Let me take that shot. Now I'm gonna go backwards and up higher so I can get views. I'm still gonna keep that home center shot. I like the composition of that shot. Now I'm gonna go to the to the right here. Take a higher shot. And I'm gonna do it on the other side as well. I didn't take a lower level right side shot of the backyard because there was a tree there and I didn't want to risk anything. It looks like the best mountain views are kind of over here. So I might take a side shot of the home where I can see the pool in the, I know that that's the home, they can link that. Just try to center it. Take a shot where I can see the mountain views. And then, uh, Take a shot, making sure that a potential buyer can still identify the home that's for sale. Give them an idea of the neighborhood layout. And then we'll look this way. There's not too much to see. You could do a side shot of the home, which I might as well capture it. 
going this way. We have the pool. It's all centered at the bottom. I can see the horizon. I'm not showing too much of the neighbors, so I still got most of the house in the shot. And that's pretty much it for the aerial photos. So as you can see, I started lower level center, left and right, the front and the back, and then I took it up higher and kind of did a further, more bird's eye view of the surrounding areas, the mountain views and the neighborhood. So I always like to do that. So depending on the house, you might have some really unique features of the home um, you can focus on. I guess there's one shot that I didn't get that I usually do, which is the straight down shot. So you can come up here. You can either do that straight down shot from the side like this, just to kind of capture the whole lot. I'll kind of come down enough. Pigeons definitely is not a selling feature of the home, so you don't want to ca catch too many in your shots. And then I'll... Uh, I'll come down and zoom in on the backyard since this, this yard has a nice pool in it. And I'll just get a nice top-down shot of the pool. And I think that's pretty much it from a features standpoint. That's pretty much all uh, that I can think of that is going to showcase um, this home uh, to a potential buyer. So always keep that in mind. Whoa. So always when you're shooting, you want to keep the potential buyer in mind and not necessarily the creativity of your shots or how good. You want to look around, look for selling features, mountain views, different things that you could think, you know, a potential buyer would be engaged if they saw a shot of this. Um, so anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for the aerial photos on this particular house. Uh, reach out if you guys have any questions. We'll see you guys on the next one.